Video number four, starting the nitrogen sweep. So we got the nitrogen hooked up. I think I got it on, yep, I got it on. I seen the needle move. We're at uh, 719 microns. You can see I'm in, uh, there's already 15 minutes before, but you see five minutes since I've been recording. And we're kind of stalling out here at 719. You can see that it's barely going down. So let's give it a little jet of uh, nitrogen. I close off the low side, we're gonna go we're gonna follow the flow, the normal flow from high to low. So kill the vacuum. And let's give it a little burst of nitrogen here. Uh, let's see if that's, well, oh, right there. More than enough. Coming up to zero, one PSI. So now you close the high side and you wanna suck it out of the low side. So you're doing a sweep. Open. And open. So now we're pulling from the high side, I mean the low side, and uh, you're gonna watch the high side follow. It'll a little bit, have a little bit of a lag. There we go, we're taking a dive. And you can see the same thing over here happening on the graph there. Let's see, can I get the glare out? Let's see, eh, good enough for government work. So I'm gonna let it get down to where it was before, somewhere around 700 and some, or might see we're already almost there. We got that. We got from zero, um, zero psi, one psi, and we're down here to under 700 microns in about 30 seconds, where it took me about almost 20 minutes to get to that point to degas the oil and everything. So we're gonna do that again. So let's repeat, look at, we're almost into 500 now. You see how much faster that goes? After you remove, once you get down from a laminar flow of volume, mass flow of air or nitrogen in the system or refrigerant, it's really hard to pull out anything. But then I swept the system with nitrogen and it got that moisture out of there. And now it came down real fast to 500. So let's repeat that, see what happens again. Close the low side, close the vacuum, open the nitrogen, open the high side, get it back to roughly zero PSI. I guess I am walking you through this whole thing. Oh, that's too much. Okay, there I go, I went over zero again. It's not really that important. I just try not to have no positive, more, any more positive pressure than necessary. Open up the low side, but their vacuum's not on yet. Now one, two, three, count. Let's see how long the second one goes. And you can see uh, the vapor coming through there. Smells a little funky. They got something, somebody flushed or did something to the system. There's a, there's a funky smell. Uh, different refrigerants or different oils, different flush products, different things have different smells and I'm smelling something different from here so we have the high off you see we have the nitrogen off and we're just sucking again out of the low and let's get this back here again let's see if you notice a little bit different on the shape of that it's like a waveform pattern on a spark plug on an oscilloscope do you notice that it's not leveling off as high it's taking a deeper dive faster and it's getting there so look at how that gradually sloped off the first time we put nitrogen in there. Now look how steep the second one is and it's getting down there. That is the difference. Nitrogen sweeps, it doesn't absorb, it sweeps the moisture out of there. And this one's highly moisture contaminated because I should be way below, if it was mineral oil, way below 500 real fast. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. So let's, uh, Close the vacuum. Now see how that went up to 14? That's your true vacuum. With the vacuum pump on is not your vacuum. It means nothing. We still got a lot of moisture in there. But you can see how much difference comes out in between. So let's open the nitrogen and open the high side.
and this will be the last time I do it. It's good enough for government work. I'm changing this over to R12 anyway. Went up to two PSI. Now, this is just so I can change it. I'm getting all that other gas out of there. Because it had 134, stuff is soaked down into the oil. Now, normally, other than be too noisy, as well, I already have music going on in the background. But you have your engine going and you're heating up the compressor, the condenser, all the lines. You have it in defrost, you have it in heat mode. And um, you're heating up the evaporator with hot air going over the evaporator to help speed up the moisture removal. And we're already getting down there, getting down there pretty fast. And let's take a look at how that one looks. Now you see, when you compare, you're starting to see the signal, like the waveform signal, it's getting straighter and straighter. See the little bump right there, then came over and bumped over. Look at this one. It went nearly straight down. You're taking more moisture out of the system and it's going lower faster. All right, that's it on the nitrogen sweep. From here, you just go away, do some other work and allow it to go. But this number means nothing. Even if I got down to 50 microns, 50 microns with the vacuum pump open means absolutely nothing. It's your vacuum decay. It's after you turn off your vacuum source. Now you start watching your pattern. You see how high this is going? There's a lot of moisture in that system. And this one is plateauing really fast because I've already sweeped it a couple times. So this will probably plateau in the next five minutes around 2,000, 2,100 microns, maybe. Sometimes it'll take a dive back down. But this is a moisture contaminated system. See you guys later.